Colin back again for morning assembly. Today we're going to visit Keith. Keith is a school maintenance man responsible for keeping a big, big school, the Rainey High School in Macrofelt, and lots of people working with him, under him, and to keep the whole school clean and tidy, and any problems need to be fixed. So before we go to visit Keith in the school, let's sing the song Stop, because sometimes in school, if there's a wet floor or a problem, you need to stop and look and listen. Let me tell you for telling us all about what goes on in a big, big, big school. Good day, boys and girls. It's Colin back again for morning assembly. And today we're, we're with Keith. And Keith is a building supervisor or a school caretaker, somebody who cares for the school. Keith, really good to see you. Good to have you. Say hello to boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. Keith, what is a building supervisor in a school? <clears throat> Well, Colin, it's great to have you with us here at the Rainy Endowed. A building supervisor basically is a man or woman that uh, attends to the needs of the school, so they, they help out with anything that needs fixed or cleaning duties, or they look after things that need carried, maybe delivered from the office down to the teachers or whatever, they look after that. And this is just the non-teaching side of the school, the building supervisor would care for those things. Do you make tea for the teachers? No, we don't make tea for the teachers. <laughs> I just they, they, that. they drink too much tea. Drink too much tea. <laughs> Keith, what might go wrong in a school? What might break or what's a typical? Well, there's things, some children, well, you know, around school, they're playing football or they're doing this. Sometimes there's windows get broke or sometimes chairs get broke or tables get broke or door handles get broke sometimes or things get caught with school bags and get pulled off and it's up to the, sometimes the building supervisor will fix those things or a light needs fixed. Sometimes a light goes out, a light needs fixed. Or so you need, do you need basic training or do you have to be a, have a trade to be a building well, supervisor? It's, it's, good, it's good to have a trade. Uh, most, most of the men on site here would have a trade to a joinery work. Joinery is very handy in the school where um, a door breaks, it's easy to fix and things like that. But we do other things, it's good to have a wide knowledge maybe around the heating system and uh -huh. nobody likes it when the heat goes down, Colin, you know, when everybody's sitting cold. Is it true if the heating doesn't work the kids would have to be off school that day, it's too cold? No, 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 we make sure and keep the kids in. We just make them wear their coats. Wear their coats or their hat, <laughs> that's great. But see in a school as a, as a maintenance man, if you're able to do a lot of things yourself, that saves the school money. Saves the school money, so it saves us having to bring in all our people that we would have to then pay out of the school budget. So that means there's more money, Colin, that we can put towards the pupils, put towards uh, resources for the pupils if we can try and pick those wee jobs up ourselves. And uh, is it okay when uh, pupils throw their rubbish down? Do you encourage them to do that? No, we don't. We like the pupils to try and find a bin. Uh, you know, a lot of our bins around the school, Colin, all have, please place your litter here, but unfortunately it doesn't always make it till the bin. So do you encourage uh, them to keep putting them in the bin? We always encourage them to try and recycle. We like to separate our waste here at the school as well, where we try and put our plastic bottles in one bin and uh -huh. everything else into another, but it doesn't always work either, Colin. Is it important to keep the school clean? It's very important, and that's part of it. Probably a big part of it that maybe a lot of the pupils don't know after they go home, Colin. Uh -huh, that's um, when the work starts? A lot of, uh, there's not wee fairies come out at night time and cleans the school. A lot of the cleaning staff, the non-teaching staff then comes in at that time and works maybe right through. I know a lot of our cleaners here work through to half six at night uh -huh. um, to get the school clean and ready for the next day, make sure bins are emptied and toilets are cleaned and desks are wiped and we're all ready to Do go students the students take that for granted or are they, are they grateful? Do you think? I, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> I've never really spoke to them about it, but I, I know a lot of the staff appreciate it, yeah. you know, because they would be involved with the with the cleaners and they appreciate what is done and they see what's done at times. But a lot of the students just maybe don't realise what happens when they drop something or spill something or make a mess or something. Somebody has to clean it up. Yeah. 
You're a Christian, Keith. I am, praise the Lord. Is that important for you? It is very important, and, and probably from a, lo- a young age, from the kids, the age when, well, I, primary school. when I got saved, yep, I yeah. remember as a young child, uh, giving my life to the Lord, I remember that conviction of my life, and knowing that I had to get saved. You haven't forgot it? No, I haven't forgot it. Does I was seven at the time. Wow, does God help you in your work? God does help me, Colin. Um, sometimes my work can be um, a little frustrating um, uh-huh. when you're trying to get things done, you're trying to work with a wide staff. I have um, 12, 13 members of staff to manage, and sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating just trying to keep your Christian walk yes. and trying to keep a straight line through your work as well. But God's always there and, and keeps me patient. My patience maybe wouldn't be the best sometimes, you know. So the, even uh, being impatient is a big struggle for a lot of children. Does God help you with that? God does help me. Um, I've learned, Colin, to take a breath yes. and ask God in prayer to just to help me, just to... Just to maybe not speak straight away, but sometimes just to step back and just evaluate and, and think about what you're going to say before you say it. And that helps everybody on both, yeah. on both sides. That comes with maturity and wisdom as you get on in life. Uh, Keith, do you, uh, when you were a child become a Christian, do you have a favourite Bible story? I do. I do, Colin. And maybe of more recent days, maybe not from when I was uh, a child, but definitely a verse in this. I remember from when I was a child, I remember learning at Sunday school and up through church and different meetings, and, uh, and you'll find it in John 3 and 16. Um, but it's the verses that come after that that are always like, and that whole chapter, Colin talks about a man called Nicodemus. Yes. And Nicodemus was a Jewish leader. And how how Nicodemus, um, he knew all about the Bible, he knew all about God's laws and Moses' law, but he didn't know Jesus personally. Uh-huh. And it goes on right down through the passage, and Nicodemus was asking, how can I be born again? And and it goes and Jesus goes on to say that you must be born again. And John 3 and 16, we all know it, we've all been taught it, I'm sure you've taught it to the kids. Yes. And, uh, and it goes on to say, for God so loved the world so much that he gave his son. But it's the verse after that where it says that he didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to tell them of his love. And that's the bit that I always like, that. Jesus didn't come to condemn us and tell us that we are naughty and we must do. He come to die on the cross to take our sin and show us his love. And Very that's good. the verse that I love in that. Very good. And so being a Christian for you is not just being a Christian on Sunday at church. It's living it through the week. It's living it through the week, Colin. Um, I used to be involved with the Boys Brigade. I was I was an officer in the Boys Brigade for years as well. And then I'm an elder in the church too. So I have people that I visit and look after. And my own family. So from experience, children can learn about God and enjoy it? Without a doubt. Yeah. Children's minds are open to it. And, and even the in Boys Brigade, it was the junior section. It was the younger boys that I learned with. And it was amazing just how quick children picked up things of God and Bible verses that were taught to them. So even when you're going around your school, you're making sure everything's done right, uh, you find every day where things get broken, it's your responsibility to make sure they're fixed? Yep. So if something's broke, it's our responsibility to make sure it's fixed and everybody's kept safe. If there's something dangerous, we need to take it away. If there's a hole, it needs patched that nobody can slip into it and everything else that goes along with that. Yep. When you were a child leaving school, did you ever think you would come back to a school, to work nope. in a school? No, <laughs> I wasn't too good at school. I left school and went out and was a joiner. I was a self-employed joiner, putting on roofs and things like that. And then I'd done the maintenance in the school and then they, they offered me employment here 12 years ago. Wow. So somebody wants and he wants to be a tradesman, would you enjoy the, uh, encourage them to do that? I would, yep. Trade is a wonderful thing to have, um, even for around your own house. It's yeah. just great to step back and look at someone and say, I done that. Keith, before we go here, what, what, what's different between a high school and a primary school? What would you have here that a primary school wouldn't have? Well, I suppose, Colin, one of the biggest differences here at school is all the different subjects. Yes. Um, if you're in primary school, you have one teacher, and that teacher teaches you the different subjects, whereas here you'll move from different class to class. So as you can see, the, some of the pupils out in the pitches at the minute, we have a rugby, we have a big massive sports hall here. So there's a wide range of subjects to cover to help the children progress into their future life. Keith, our time's up. We really appreciate your time today. We're sharing with the boys and girls about the, a, a school janitor, a school building supervisor, but most of all, caring for the school, and that's what you have to do. So thank thanks you. very much. Lovely to have you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So whenever you're walking around the school, make sure you keep it clean and tidy and avoid breakages because these people, when you go home, don't forget there's people cleaning and working hard to keep the school as best as they possibly can. Thank you, Keith, for sharing all about the school and what you have to do to fix problems and to keep the whole school clean and tidy. Uh, let's sing the song Living, Loving, Lasting.
for sharing again because all the primary school children one day you will go to big school and that's what it's going to be like see you next time bye